All right, here's box blade build video number two. I said that whenever we came and saw another video, I'd have something more than a box. What I've added was inside supports here and along the back and the other side. And I've taken, this is now a piece of three by two angle. It's one arm. Here's my other arm. Ah doubled up with 3 16th inch plate so I'm about 3 8 inches here um, on my support arms I've got my piece of 2 by 2 tube in that is going to be my main support arm I welded it in the forward on the forward edge on the uh, 3 by 3 tube and then backed it with a piece of plate for support. Um, what else have I done? I think that's it besides make a big mess. As you can see, I did not skip anything. And I'm the king of four or five inch welds. So you'll see that you got a pretty good weld going. And then it'll stop. And then a pretty good weld and stop. And a pretty good weld and stop. But as you can see, I have not stitched anything together. Everything that I've done has been 100% full beads all the way across. I've done that here along the bottom, my angle, all the way up on my side supports, down. Um, I'll punch holes in this angle in the front and the back and put my 5 16 inch plate in there for my blades it's sitting right there uh, as far as penetration the cool thing about this is that you can see exactly where I've welded um, as you can see a lot of this is 4 and 5 inches of well, like I said, I'm the king of four and five inch well, but I am still very angle dependent. I'm not uh, going to pass any tests laying on the ground or anything like that. I've got to have this thing turned just right to get my welds to look like a one. Not that I'm an expert, but um, I'm trying to keep everything looking pretty much like that. And it's still pretty dirty weld. I haven't cleaned it up. It's still got flux stuff on it. You can see all over the side and... As you can see, I've got plenty of penetration. Here's the line uh, from the back side of the 2x2 two two tube on the back reinforcement. Um, my three point arms sit on the 2x2 two two tube here, and then the 2x2, two two, or the one and a half by one and a half there, sits, everything sits on top. If you push backwards on this, You've got support here, and you got support here on the back plate. You're also supported by the pieces of angle that I put in the corner right here. Um, if I'm pushing from behind, because as you can see, the front end of that I've built to where it looks like a bulldozer. There's a pretty good recess there. But anyway, if I'm pushing, um, I've got supports here to keep anything from moving backwards so it's four feet I got a small tractor but um, I think this thing will hold up to anything you want to throw at it I still have to put the scarifers on the front um, I still have a piece of channel that I'm going to connect from the front of the three point arm to the back here I got my cap cut and uh, just some more welding to do here and there I've got um, my arms right here to do and the piece of channel that goes from there angling back to that back bar there this joker's finished ready for the mag drill so anyway, I guess 
probably in a week or so I'll have this thing finished. I've got to get a hold of a mag drill. My buddy has and uh, I'll have this thing stitched together today ready for the mag drill and then it's off and sandblasting and I'll prime it and paint it the color of all my other implements in here. So, till next time.